our semi-finals and it's women's doubles all Chinese affair the number one seeds Zhang Yawen and Wei Yi Li up against Du Jing and Yu Yang so of course Zhang Yawen has already played in one semi-final earlier today that was the mixed doubles with partner Zhe Zhongbo lost out to the defending champions Zhengbo and Gao Ling understand there was some sort of injury problem to Zhe Zhongbo so the number one seeds in the blue kit Wei Yi Li is the left hander number one seeds and of course holders of the All England title so for Wei Yi Li trying to make it through to her fourth All England final she was runner up twice playing with Zhang Jae Wen and for the number one seeds through to this semi-final world terrific second round match against Chin Yi Hui and Wang Pei Ti of Malaysia three tough games 51 minutes that lasted and then a quarter final against Joe Novita and Gracia Poli of Indonesia so they haven't come up against a seeded pair until now so Yu Yang and Du Jing the number three seeds. Yu Yang, who's a fine mixed doubles player, was in the quarter final with her Hanbin. And they had a terrific second round match. I watched some of that, and that really was incredible. Having won that second game 21-9, I thought that they were just going to really dominate in the decider, but they weren't able to do so. 21-17 it was, but let me tell you about the quarterfinal yesterday. Ogora and Shioto of Japan, number seven season, of course, bronze medalist from the World Championships last year. And look at the scoreline, 7-11. and 11. Very surprised that they were able to win that just quite as easily. So we know that their winner of this match will play against the Korean pair of Lee Ho Jun and Lee Kyung Won, who on the second court in action here at the National Indoor Arena have disposed of the reigning Olympic champions Yang Wei and Zhang Jae Wen, the number two seeds. So the holders of this title well they won four tournaments last year not only the all england championship but also the singapore open the french super series event and the olympic test event in beijing for yu yang and du jing they won three titles indonesia hong kong and the russian grand prix Five, so morton the dominance really of Chinese women's doubles continues I mean they've had three pairs in this semi-final obviously Koreans have beaten the Olympic champions in the other semi-final so it's not complete dominance but th there is very much a feeling that if one Chinese pair doesn't win it's likely to be one of the others yes I, I think you're right again um, I, I think that it's, it's really nice to see that the Korean pair won it. Um, it's always nice to see two uh, nationalities playing in the final. Um, I think uh, the, the Korean pair is actually the only pair that can really damage um, the Chinese lineup. And as I say, lineup, they have a lot of good pairs. Yeah. So, um, so the, I think China is really very dominant in this category. Women's doubles semi final. Doug Morton from Berkshire, right, our umpire for this. Yu Yang, China. But it looks like for ladies, doubles, they can play forever and ever.
Yeah, so safe. And so fit. So fit. Yu Yang to serve to Xiang Yawen. Love all. Play. Service over. One love. Service over. One all. And certainly Morton, I would have thought that the holders of this title, there's always something very special about trying to retain a title, isn't there? There's the passion and, mm. you know, the, I own this at the moment. I'm not <laughs> going to let it go. Do you think that might be a deciding factor? I think uh, any player hates the word former. Yeah. Service over. Two, one. Okay. Good rally. And Morton thinking ahead, of course, to tomorrow's final Three, against the Koreans. One. Whoever comes through this, presumably the Chinese coaching staff will be hoping that this isn't too long a match <laughs> and that they, whichever pair wins are not too tired for tomorrow's final. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I think yeah, that the, the whole thing, if I, if I can go back a little in, in, in the history and in, in the tournament uh, this year, um, I haven't found any pairs really prepared to just work when they play the Chinese. They're so overwhelmed yeah. by the fact that they play the Chinese pairs that they don't know what to do. So they take a lot of chances and they're, not, they're so scared of just playing the game. Where I must say, when you looked at the second round with the Russian pair, yeah. they couldn't care less. They just played their clears and their drops and they were waiting for whatever chance they had and they p played so patiently and did so well in that three sets that they played. from Wei Yi Lee setting up her partner at the net. <laughs> Lift clearly long of the back line. Four, five. Yep. Service over. Five, six. 
Yeah, it's a good drive across so court seven, from Chang Yar Wen. And of course, Morton, these two pairs will be practicing against each other every day in the National Training Centre. They'll know each other's games inside out. They do. They can, they can do it in sleep. But, um, but I, I think that the holders are doing quite well. They're playing uh, on the difficult side and, and still controlling it pretty okay. Just long. Seven four. Serve. Eight, nine. Service landed in. Ten, eight. long of the back line as well and it's the number three seed to have a three point advantage at the mid game interval in this opening game and that is quite surprising to me of course there will be no coaching staff involved because all Chinese players and it's understood that when players from the same nation are playing each other coaching staff just leave the players to their own devices Zhang Yao went 24 years of age. Will turn 25 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She wants to play that final. Yep. I think I spoke a little bit too soon. Um, after what I said, you know, I think they're controlling it pretty well, and then they made uh, four mistakes on the baseline. Yeah. Play so from the left hand up, Wei Li. Lee. Service over. Ten, twelve. Yeah, good rally from the holders. Eleven, twelve. That was the one from Wei Li the defensive shot and cross court that really did the damage set up the rally yep. oh my goodness <laughs> well safe
12 all. One call, please. Did very, very well, did Yu Yang. Initial stages of that desperation, so and it's good to see so many of the crowd here have stayed on for the last of this these semi-finals. But it's always difficult for a crowd; they don't know which pair to support, do they? No, they're here for the good badminton, and yeah. I think that's beautiful. Yeah. Good return of serve. 13-12. Du Jing really committed going forward. Landed in, clearly in. 50, 60. Flicks long, the flick serve is clearly over. long. 70, Surprised about 50. that. Yeah, but she's staying it with the drift, so um, chances are that it goes a bit too long. Oh, that's a powerful smash from Wei Lee. Service over. Yi Lee means 70. strong mind and strong body in Mandarin. Okay. <laughs> what a name to have. Yeah. <laughs> Wide. 
Service over. 1816. Terrific smash there from Yu Yang. Rally. Uh, once again, you have to notice that um, Ying and Yang, uh, the red pair, whenever they attack, they always attack straight. And they're very good to hit uh, between the two tram lines and adding a lot of pressure on when they're doing that. So it's difficult for the opponents to get it away and whip it cross court and stuff like that. Four game points. Missed it. Game. And the number three seeds take the opening game against the holders of this Yonex All England title. 21 16, the margin. 17 minutes of action for that opening game. 21 16. So the holders of this All England title really do have their work cut out now. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game, level play. Good smash. Two love. And I know that Yu Yang and Du Jing won the Korean Open, the second of the Super Series events, and I think that they beat the Koreans on their way to that title. So presumably if they were to win this semi-final then they would be full of confidence for playing the Koreans tomorrow in the final yeah but I must say that I think that uh, they do play a lot better game than uh, their opponents at the moment and they're really adding on a lot of pressure service over one three
clever smash. Again, as you see, a straight smash. Yeah. You can see that the front player is really moving to the side. Five, one. The holders are in trouble here, aren't they? They are. But the funny thing, I have to admit that uh, I didn't know that they were the holders and the others were the contenders. I would have thought it was the other way around uh, before um, the tournament started. So I've seen the... Um, the red chair, Chinese player play on a few occasions and I really think they play well. Six, one. There's a one surprise cross court smash there. Service over. Two, six. Certainly, Chang Ya Wen doesn't look to be in terribly good form. Already disappointment in her mixed doubles, and I wonder if she's brought that onto the doubles Service court as well. Service over. Three, seven. Smash. Yeah, very aggressive. You're right. I mean, they're determined to try and attack. They're willing to take the chances going forward to the net, and they, they are actually the better pair. Definitely. That's a good play. Service over. Four, nine. Yes, and so Zhang Yao Wen is making numerous Ten, errors four. now. just long of that back line. Yeah, great call by the line judge. Oh, missed it. It was the right place. Six, ten. So the number three seeds, you started 2008 so well. Semi-final of the Malaysian Open, winners of the Korean Open. And they look very much to be on their way to an All-England final. Well, that shows what a good combination they are as a pair because they're sharing the work, almost same number of winners from the front of the court. The ability to play from either the back or the front. No set formations or favoured formations.
She's just not with it, is she? Zhang Yarwen. Simple error on the defence. Maybe she's thinking about her birthday celebrations tomorrow. She's having a nightmare. Fourteen, six. And I can't really see a way back for them. I think the holders are in dire straits. Towards victory now, Yu Yang and Du Jing. Mm, yet another error from Six. Zhang Yao Wen. Ten point advantage for the number three seeds. Service over. Seven, sixteen. And this is disappointing, Morton, because I really thought this would be a, a very close match, hard-fought match. Yeah, but I, I, I think, as I say, um, yin and yang, they are really um, dominating e everything. And uh, there's nothing the other pair can do. So uh, it's over. 17, 7. But again, you know, if I was in a position like that, obviously you would try to do... Find other ways. See yeah. if you can find other ways of playing, and see if you can find solutions to to the trouble you're in. But uh, obviously, they know one another's game so well. Yeah. Yet again by Yu Yang and Du Jing. Smash down the centre of the court, narrowing the angle of reply, and therefore the opportunity to intercept at the net. Disappointing defence of their title. Match point nine. Eleven match points now to Yu Yang and Du Jing. And that's Game. wide. Just 29 minutes of action. And the defending champions have lost their crown here at the Yonix All England Championships. 21-16, 21-9, the margin. And that is disappointing way for holders of the title to depart from this year's championships. But all credit to Yu Yang and Du Jing, who did play a superb game. 21-16, 21-9.
So that's the last of our semi-finals today. And just to bring you up to date with what happened on the adjoining court, Lin Dan, the defending champion, beat teammate Bao Chun Lai. And let me tell you, in that opening game, he was 11-14 down. 10 straight points to win it, 21-14, 21-14. And, of course, the men's singles that we watched, Chen Jin beating Li Chong Wei in two straight games. Women's singles and Tina Rasmussen, a wonderful victory for her over Wang Haiyun. Two straight games. And Lu Lan beating the European champion, Zhu Wai Wen, 21-13, 21-14. Men's doubles and we'll have an all-Korean final. Wang Ji Man and Li Jai Jin beating the Japanese pair Ikeda and Sakamoto. And... Of course, we watched both of those men's doubles semi-finals. Terrific first one with Chun Tan Fook and Lee Wan Wa. Five match points saved by Jung Jai Sung and Lee Yong Dae to come through to that final. Women's doubles and, as we've just seen, the holders beaten against the number three seeds, Du Jing and Yu Yang. But sensation in the other semi-final on court number two with the Olympic champions going down to Lee Ho Jung and Lee Kyon Won of Korea, 21-19 in that deciding game. And, of course, in the mixed doubles, all China semi-final, Zheng Bo and Gao Ling coming through against Xie Zhongbo and Zhang Yawen. So not a good day for Zhang Yawen. Of course, her partner had to retire injured in that deciding game. But disappointment also for the English fans here in Birmingham because the former champions and former world champions, Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems, going down to the current world champions, Novo Widianto and Liliana Natsia, in two straight games. So that obviously means that tomorrow, our finals, we have an all-Chinese men's singles. Mixed doubles, the number two and one ranked pairs in the world fighting it out and in the women's singles Tina Rasmussen who has had the most tremendous tournament and start to the year because of course she won the Malaysian Open the first of the Super Series and she's up against Lu Lan from China and then in men's doubles of course all Korean Wang and Lee up against Jung and Lee and in the women's doubles of course Korea against China do and you against Lee and Lee. So that concludes the program for semi finals day here at the Onyx All England Championships from all of us here from Morton Frost and myself, Jill Clark. Do join us tomorrow, twelve thirty GMT with all the finals. See you then. Bye bye.